Hi everybody, I'm Michael Grimm and starting Tuesday the 29th going all the way to the 11th of December I'm going to be playing at the gorgeous and beautiful Flamingo in Las Vegas. Please come and see me. Congratulations so much on your success well, with thank the America's you. Got yeah. Talent. It's been something else, I'll tell you that. Yeah, and um, not a lot of people know this, but before you won big with America's Got Talent, you played in a lot of Vegas showrooms and lounges. And how does that compare to touring and the performances you do now after winning America's Got Talent? It's a, it, you know, uh, I, I used to play in town, uh, you know, uh, at all these places in Las Vegas and the lounges, and uh, and uh, right after winning, it's it's taken it to a, a different level, you know, um, a whole nubba level. <laughs> I was on Mad TV too. Um, I'm corny like that. I am. I'm just cornball. Um, yeah, it, 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 you know, since when the show, it took it to a whole new level. And uh, and and I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm here headlining a show in the same room that Donnie and Marie plays in, which is the best show in Las Vegas, my mm -hmm. man. The best show I've seen. I mean, I've seen a lot of them. And uh, you know, and, uh, it's big shoes to fill. So I'm, I'm I'm scared. You know, I really am. I'm, I'm scared, but I, I, I'm very excited, and I feel alive. Yeah, <laughs> Butterflies in my sure. stomach again, you know. No, this I, is bigger than winning the show, yeah. you know, playing here in, in, in the Flamingo. I mean, they talk about this in the show, but, uh, I mean, who really has headlined a show since that show other than Terry Fader? Mm -hmm. And now here I am in Las Vegas doing two weeks here. You're going to do great. I mean, how does it feel now to be a part of a part of Las Vegas history? So many people have had their start and had headlining acts at the Flamingo. Do I now go in the history books? Yeah, you're going in do the I history really? books, Michael. Right on. You know, I've been waiting for that one. I don't know what book to get on that one, but uh, <laughs> I will. Uh, yeah, it, it's 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 uh, it's a very humbling experience. Yeah. This whole thing since winning the show up to playing here. It's, uh, you know, I'm, this is bigger than me, you know, it's bigger than I am, so I, I, I um, hope I can, I, I know I'm, I'll be able to get up there and do my job, but the thing is, I'm, I just, this is big, you know, I, I love it, I'm just so excited at the same time, I'm very scared too, and anxious, and all kind of emotions, and I probably won't go cry after this interview. Oh, no, you're going to do wonderful. <laughs> Now, one of our Facebook fans, her name's Tracy Lynn Pyle, she asked, what kind of feeling do you get when you are creating a new song? What kind of feeling? Well, it's according to what I'm writing on at the moment. Um, if the song is, is going in the direction where it's tickling the ears, uh, then uh, it's a good feeling. It's sort of like, uh, it's, <laughs> it's sort of like a drug, you know? I, you know? I hate to use that as an analogy, but it's like a dopamine release, you know? It's very, oh, I got it, and you get that feeling. To, but, you know, to, uh, to approach a song, um, it's according to what emotion I'm feeling at the moment. Most of the time, I'm very grim. That sounds fitting. <laughs> Love it. And, and finally, Michael, can you uh, tell us what kind of songs we can expect to hear in your headlining show here, here at the Flamingo? I'm going to do what I do best here at the show at the Flamingo. I'm going to sing. <laughs> and, Are we going to uh, hear some holiday songs? Going, oh, yes. Some, yeah, we're, I'm playing, I'm playing stuff from from where I grew up, you know, listening to all the southern rock, you know, and uh, soul music and, um, and uh, a little bit of country. You know? uh, it's, uh, it's my peeps where I'm from. That's what I grew up on. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw, throw a little bit of uh, everything in there, including my album, of course, which I'm promoting. It's produced by Don Was. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we're doing half of that, uh, some of the originals from the album, and, uh, and some holiday songs we're going to throw in there for the season coming up. Uh, and uh, also a good tribute to our troops, you know, a little song called Ships That Don't Come In by Joe Duffy. <laughs> And I think we got to keep those guys in, in our thoughts always. So that's a good reminder. Well, Michael, thank you so much. And break a leg tomorrow night and during your residency here at the Flamingo. And we're looking forward to having you back. It. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. I'm so excited.